Meanwhile, we get to meteorologist Reagan Meggie. She is in the field, live in Fairfield, New Jersey, where people are bracing to, for the flooding. And they're working hard, Reagan. Yeah, they are. We're at the Fairfield Public Library, and you can see some residents over to my left, the screen to your right, uh, digging and basically filling in the sandbags. What's happening right now is this is about 10 tons of sand that the community is providing for the homeowners and also providing bags. All these bags are, thank you, sir. I will give you these bags. Neighbors helping neighbors here, and we have the bags, but what's happening is that the homeowners will grab these bags, will open them up, and then they have the shovels provided and just grabbing the sand and filling up these sandbags. These sandbags could be the barrier between the Passaic River overspilling its banks, going into their homes and their properties. So obviously, residents are very concerned that now that we're having another round of rain, anywhere between two to four inches, not only that, we have the snow pack as well. So when that rain comes down, you can imagine this snow will add to the inches of moisture. You don't want all this stuff going under. I mean, it's, you know, valuable stuff. All of this you brought up just this morning? Yes. And it took you how long? Uh, about two hours. Richard Duell spent the morning moving everything up from the basement so it doesn't get ruined again. The second time in less than three weeks. We went halfway up that, halfway up the window, which is why it came in. Oh, so that window right there, yeah, where the basement is, all the water just started going down. And this mm -hmm. was right before Christmas. Yeah. Larry Duell is helping, trying to prevent what happened right before Christmas when the Passaic River flooded their basement. A heavy rain caused the river to reach major flood stage. Homes flooded, and some neighbors needed high water rescue. Get everything out of the cellar. Mm -hmm. We got everything out so far except the hot water tank, which we'll see how that goes, you know, if it's bad enough. Last time it went in the cellar. And how much did it go in the cellar? About four feet. Officials are expecting it to swell beyond that level again. That includes Governor Phil Murphy, who held a press briefing to urge residents to prepare now. I think the human nature is to say, well, it's not snow, we're going to be okay. But we've seen with Ida and other storms that a lot of rain, high winds, and flooding can cause not just a lot of damage, but put lives at risk. And back here at the Fairfield Public Library, this sand is for residents only, and they're expected to get more sand if more people come out, show up, and fill the bags of sand to protect their property.